Okay, so let me show you this um, inventory example in Click Team Fusion 2.5. You can apply some of the same principles to G Development Game Maker, actually. So I'm gonna press a spacebar. That's gonna bring out my um, inventory, which is empty at the time. So I'm going to press uh, E, and that's uh, gonna bring out my inventory again. Next, in this time we have a key. Okay, so let's pick the tomato. I think that's uh, an apple. Spacebar, and now you can see that uh, we have an inventory. These are clickable items, by the way. These are not just pictures. You can actually um, do something with your items after. I'll make a video about that after. So I got a counter here. This is just a regular counter. And um, if you press the spacebar, you can add one to the counter. Add one to it. We're gonna we're going to create a loop. So if the counter says, for example, uh, greater than one, then we can set the counter back to zero. That's that. So let's try that out. It's going to create a um, a loop. Okay. All right. So let me go over here. That's our first item, so if you um, are overlapping that object and you happen to press E on your keyboard, press the E button, so we're going to delete this here, and if there are no keys, go to pick account, um, number of keys equals zero, then we're going to position the second key, which is this one over here. We're gonna place it right here, or whatever you want really. You can select any of these um, spots here. So, let me uh, do that now. Walk up to the key, press E, and there is our key. Now. So when our counter is equal zero, um, or our counter is equals one, change that. Uh, so for zero, we can uh, hide the um, uh, the menu, and for one, we can bring it back out. Make the uh, box appear and disappear. Okay. Now, we don't want to be able to move when the menu is out, so uh, when we are at that one, we want to ignore the controller. So go to player controller here, ignore control, and you can restore it back again uh, once the counter reaches uh, zero. Bring out the menu, you can move. You can also pause everything else in the game. So. Now we want to make this invisible when um, when we pick that up. So zero is going to make that invisible as well. Invisible and uh, one is going to make it reappear again. Just like that. Wait, <laughs> one should make it reappear. Okay. Uh, it is working except for this is on a different layer so we also need to bring that to our first layer now um, start a frame you can bring this to move to layer layer 2 because this is layer 1 this is layer 2 or you can just place the item in layer one to begin, or layer two to begin with. Maybe that's what I should have done. But in case that you don't, you can always um, switch the layer of the item. Okay, so let's do the same thing for the uh, the apple. Okay, if you click on the apple, I mean, if you press E while touching the apple, you can destroy the apple. And you can position uh, the apple uh, too. Let me see where where where's the position of the apple. 
Do, 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 do. Here it is. Okay. Copy and paste this. And number of um, apples equals zero. Then you can position your apple. Um, oops, oops, oops. Position the apple um, over here. Around there. I'm going to make this a uh, 32. Try it out. Pick up the key first. Now the apple. Now we need to make that invisible. Uh, let me send that to the second layer first. And we're going to do the same thing. You can literally just drag the um, commands to the next box. So pick up, pick up the um, key first. Now the apple. And now they're in your inventory. Um, I'll make another video to uh, uh, switch positions or be able to use your items. Like say, if you wanted to open a door with your, um, with your key or give the apple to a witch or something so that's it thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe